Good day, good day. How the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is the YouTube channel. It's all about anything and everything Land Rovers. I'm your friend Dan. Oh, guess what we got for you today? Yeah, what a Wednesday. And we're going to talk about this little bugger right here. Bam. As you guys know, I've been uh, kind of going through my Corgi Toys, uh, the Land Rover 109 wheelbase. And uh, so you can check that out. We're going to check that out up here or at the end. We'll have, uh, you can go to the playlist, uh, Corgi playlist. Yeah. So anyway, so what do we have here? We have the number 357. Now, um... Kind of the same basic thing. Uh, this is uh, series one. This is, uh, I think they all came with the same uh, wheels. I believe this came out in 1964, 1966. So, uh, and that was about it. Um, there is an interesting story on these. Um, now, I'm not really sure exactly what I have, and I'm hoping you guys could tell me in the comments below. Here's the story. So, this is the Gray Base uh, Military Grab Drab Green with a star on it with a lemon interior. So, as far as I know, um, this is just a regular... Uh, U.S. No, just a regular Corgi truck. Land Rover. This is nothing special. I think they did uh, later on do a weapons carrier with this uh, and have a trailer with uh, big howlets or something on it, okay? But what's interesting is, in the story here, is that there was a number 500 or what they call 500 of these when exported to the U.S. special issued with a box and uh, that had 500 and I, like they whipped together a box they put it on there and uh, there was like oh maybe 17,000 maybe maybe not I'm not really sure um, but I didn't find a lot about it. Uh, the one picture I did see had uh, the star on here, and then it had uh, lettering and numbering down the side of the hoods, and uh, also it had an antenna. <laughs> now, now mine is missing the antenna, but you can see the base of the antenna is still there. But uh, yeah, and apparently. There is a bunch of rare, very rare, rare ones that have red interiors. So if you've got one of those, then uh, yeah, you got a good one. Uh, you got a good one, you better keep a hold of that, all right? So otherwise, it looked like um, they did have a tilt to it. That was, uh, as far as I know, uh, metal, but then plastic. Uh, you know that kind of went with that. So I'm not, I'm not really too sure on uh, exactly, you know, what went on with this model. But um, I know they did re-release it in uh, 1965. Uh, what is it? 157 or is it 151? Now I can't. One one fifty. Uh, oh, why am I saying one? The three fifty seven. Yeah, they did release it again later on uh, in sixty five with uh, with that. So yeah. Now mine has got uh, a steering wheel that's loose running around. You can kind of see it there. It's sitting in the middle there. You gotta maybe it's a race car. You gotta take the steering wheel off to get in, and then you put the steering wheel on. But anyway. Not too bad a shape. This is the one and only I've got. So 
you know, kind of taking a care of that one. Uh, no hood on the top, just a star on the top, star on the sides of the doors. And like I said, it does have a tow hitch, but I don't believe they sold a, a trailer with this particular drab green one. Uh, later on, there was a uh, uh, blue, uh, the RAF had uh, had a howitzer, but then that, that antenna would kind of like stick like up there. Uh, you know, you can see how big that was. But, you know, these uh, being, you know, uh, over 50-some years old, you know, plastic like that, uh, you sneeze and they just break off. So, but very nice, very nice model. I'm, I'm glad to have this one in the collection. Uh, it's a one of. I don't really think that I've got a rare, uh, even though I'm here in the States, I don't think this is rare uh, The of the number 500 that... They came uh, in a regular box, not a shadow box with a window. It was a regular box, and on the end of it, it was a circle with the 500 stamped on the end. I've, I've seen the pictures. I've seen the pictures on the, the Google. So if you want to see some pictures of that, go over there and Google, you know, the Corgi uh, number 357, which this is, and then, uh, you know, they'll come up with uh, the 500 will uh, come up in that search there and you can take a look. Go over to the images there and you can see. Now they did uh, plug the holes there because uh, this was used all the way back to the uh, recovery with the, the crane and stuff that was on it. So they did uh, uh, not have the holes punched in the sides there but you can see where uh, it had the uh, outlining uh, you know, for, for the hole. But, uh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Most of them I saw, um, you know, didn't have a tilt on them, but I believe they did They did come with uh, canvas-looking tilt. Yeah, metal at first and then, uh, then plastic. So, now, uh, I did, uh, I do, uh, every once in a while, I, I go over to these guys here, uh, and I, I'm not really Chess Bros, Dot com. Not really sure how they say it. They don't sponsor me or anything. I go over there and take a look at it. Now they said uh, 08 to 014. These were calling for 140 to 160 dollars at that time. Then uh, 2015 to 2020, they went up to like 200 dollars to 220. So, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm assuming those are mint in the package or, or have of the package. Uh, now, I'm, I'm sure I bought this on the internet and uh, I didn't pay a lot of money, but no, no over $100, that's for sure. Probably, probably less than $10, but, uh, and that's shipping included. <laughs> but a really nice example. I really like that. I really like that. It did some detailing with the, uh, the lights, but the grill is... Uh, uh, you know, it's the drab green that not painted on the, on the uh, bumper. So, so really, really nice. Really kind of cool. I like that. So there, take another look at the base. And uh, now these, as far as I know, would be original tires. I didn't really see, I think they only came out in, in this uh, tire configuration because this came out so late, 1964 and 66 you know 64 65 66 so uh didn't really have a lot of the wheel variations but i could be wrong uh talking about could be wrong <laughs> i want to see yours what do you got in your collection for uh 357 come on over to facebook right over to facebook let me see yours um and uh what kind of variations do uh the Roverland channel uh, YouTube followers have. So go over to Facebook to Roverland. Uh, join the group over there. Boy, that group is growing pretty good and uh, awesome. Thank you very much. Make sure you uh, comment down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Yeah. And uh, then you can go on Instagram as well uh, over to Roverland channel and uh, share photos over there as well in comments. 
All right, well, that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for a one-off Wednesday at OOW. <laughs> Happy hump day. Oh, yeah, we forgot to mention. Yeah, keep calm and carry on during these trying times, all right? Otherwise, you guys know, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.